Welcome back to Silent Hill 3. So we're going to continue to explore our little other world. Uh, are we? Oh yes, it's that lovely scene. Hmm, calling her. So I think we actually just need one other chemical of some description and you combine them and set it on fire. I think it tells you in the description, didn't it mention something about it forms on Yeah. Something. Yeah, we need we need some of that. It's just something we get on the floor. It's kind of just a cool sort of chemistry style puzzle. Yes, because we um had a chemistry style puzzle in Silent Hill 1, which is possibly a, a slight flashback to it. Yeah, I was thinking maybe it was that, maybe combined with um, hydrogen peroxide, because there's a thing about a hair. Not to get too far ahead of the game and spoil it. <laughs> so we're currently on five. I don't think we could get to six. No, the button didn't work. But that doesn't necessarily mean we can't get to the floors that the elevator can't travel to, of course. We have to find a staircase as well. Or halls. You know, any sort of method of getting to different floors. Good, uh, good scream there. Mm. Ah. Can you see what's behind? Yes, we have the, uh, corpses back again. Yes, I can see where they put in the zoom feature, so you can appreciate all these things they put in. That one's specifically locked. It's interesting. Rather than broken. And so's that. This floor seems to be for later, because I believe that's all we can do. Yep. Onwards and downwards. I like how that covering slams down. Very off-putting. Three's broken. I think we've been to two. I believe that's where we started. Down to the bottom, then. Oh, God. Is that actually something you need to kill, or mm. is it just there, well, being off-putting? We'll find out. Wonderful sound effects, though. I also quite like how each floor is a bit different still. Yeah, yeah, it's quite cool. Locked? No, oh, sorry, broken. <laughs> Oh, it's an insane cancer. Yeah, it's uh, not so easy to spot from a distance, but uh, Heather knows which side of the sim bread is sim buttered. Or is it synthy bread and synthy buttered? I forget. Ah, oh, there we go. Well, it depends if this one's going to be as uh, tough to put down as a certain other one in a certain subway station. No, I think that's down, actually. I'm not sure. No? Now. Good time to reload there. Shotgun definitely seems to be the way. There we go, it's gone. <laughs> I think we noticed, noticed more there because we couldn't aim and look at it than any particular sign that it had died. Shotgun shells. Still plenty of ammo. Should have plenty of um, handgun ammo. And of course, if we run out of ammunition, there's always that uh, katana there. Well, we've, had, we've accrued quite a few weapons already, as we Maybe say. three ammo, that's quite a lot. Of, um, it's more giving of the weapons. A syringe. Yeah, I mean, we can examine the stuff on the table, but... Yep, it's a syringe. 
No. I think we can interact with everything but that. Cigarette butts again? Pretty yucky. Liver. Pork, Pork liver. liver. Not sure I can really tell the difference. I don't know. I suppose it might be a different size. Yeah, I think you can examine the uh, the cache there as well. Money scattered all over. <laughs> Not much use here. No. It's hardly like you can bribe the split head dogs. Well, you can. <laughs> With meat. With meat, With certainly. Meat. Worrying thing is still there, but... It's not moving, though. No, that one's also specifically locked. There's something on the floor in front of it, though. Mm. Something I like about Silent Hill, by the way, if you... Silent Hill 3 specifically. If you... well, once we come out of this, but if you look at the monster, you can see sort of blood splat patterns moving around on it. But here we have a little bit of a text here. Yeah, it's a little bit of a fairy tale. Talking about a monster at a gate. Killing, uh, killing knights. Very angry about not reading the story. Yes, you see all the moving, the moving patterns. That was yeah, a, sort of pulsating a little. That was new to Silent Hill Three. Can't use it here. There's that door there as well. That one's good. We've exhausted the options for this floor as well. Thing. <laughs> Not much we can do on four. We can't get to three, can't get to six and five. Well, we haven't had a look at the toilets actually, but I don't think we can we get to those or was those behind one of those big pits? I'm not sure. We've got pork, we must have to do something with it. Oh, well, I know exactly what you do. Up we go. To the floor of fiveness. Just be straight down. Yeah, you can get to the toilets. But they're both locked. <laughs> so it wasn't much use. Right, I think we're on the wrong floor there. Well, because there's only really... We? Was that the picture floor? I can't remember. No, I don't know. Um... Oh, yes, it was. It's only really the two thick sort of puzzles, as it were, that we've got. The picture and the monster blocking the way to the next village, as it were. The next village. That's what it says in the story. It's referring to that, so... It's very cool, the light is very different. And here we are, in the room of picture. There's a zoomed in picture. <laughs> Yes. Put the lime in. And the coconut. And light them both up.
to unveil something. Oh gosh. Well. Yeah. There he is. And underneath. there's some weird bloody corpse thing behind it. It's just weird looking. And of course this is how we get to this floor. Ah, rest of the fairy tale. Or more of the fairy tale. Uh, this is actually the bit I usually miss. I usually get the first part and the third part, and I miss the second. But here we go. Didn't seem very useful, but uh, we'll see you again next time. Hopefully with something more useful. <laughs>